Hey everybody, this is Dallas Stone here doing a Let's 3D Model episode 96. First thing you guys are going to realize about this video is my webcam at the very bottom right. Um, the audio is not synced. And the reason being was while I was recording this episode, uh, there's a bunch of interruptions that happened. And because of the interruptions, um, the audio and just the flow of the video just kind of died out. So, um, so yeah, so I'm sorry about that. And um, so I had to kind of speed up this video and uh just kind of get this done as soon as possible so i'm sorry about that guys and this is uh sped up relatively quick so <clears throat> i just want to quickly just kind of go through what i'm doing here um so first off what i start started with is um i started off with the cylinder with about 48 divisions on it and right there quickly i just kind of I just went through kind of the reason why i have 48 divisions um because if you divide 48 um you divide 48 by 2 in half you get uh, 24 and 24 divides uh three times uh, eight, uh 24 divided by three times is eight so you get eight divisions which is pretty nice for a nice cylinder kind of um shape so uh that's how i wanted because the, the crate was divided into three different parts and if you put the if you assemble the three parts together and you rotate it you would get a really nice uh, crate so here I, I'm just kind of showing you guys quickly um, just how uh, just an easy process of of how to um, get a nice little crate there um, so essentially what I did was I, I put like I think it was like 24 cap uh, on the cap. So in that way, like on the cylinder, I put like 24 as the division for the cap so that I can just select every other um, every other loop, face loop. And I, I would just delete the faces, right? And then I just kind of go in here and um, I actually just realized right now while I'm watching this video, I could have just taken the frame of this crate and had extruded it upwards and I would have saved myself so much time rather than doing what I'm doing here. What I'm doing here is I'm taking the faces, I'm extruding it down and then I'm, I'm making adjustments, I'm making tweaks to it and I'm deleting all the, the edges here and then you're going to see me bridge all of these polys together which is not, which is now when I'm looking at it, it makes absolutely no sense why I even did it like this. Um, but you know, it's just how it is with 3d, you know, you have to you live and learn and you, you, you continue to move forward and improve as, as an artist. Um, so yeah, so I just took all the edges here and I'm just, um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to bridge them, uh, because that's what I want to do. And this is, this is for the frame of the, of the crate. Uh, I realized really quickly here that I, uh, forgot to delete a few faces so I, and then I deleted it and there I'm just again I'm just using uh, the bridge tool and the extrude tool there uh, put in an edge loop and I just continue to bridge the other side as well <clears throat> so just basic kind of functions and stuff like that um, so like I said if my videos are going for too long I'm going to speed them up and I'm just going to do it this way just because you know, something that I've noticed with a lot of my videos is when they go for too long, um, people don't people don't watch it. People, they, uh, most people, I'm not going to say everyone, but st statistically, uh, when I'm looking at the stats on all my videos, um, people watch maybe two minutes of it. Uh, I think on average right now, most people watch about one minute. Uh, two minutes is me being very uh, optimistic. It's a, it's, it's usually about one minute that people are, are watching my videos. So I figured I just make these a little bit quicker, you know, small little tips here and there, and it should be fine. Um, unless I'm doing like something very important where I need to literally um, go through the steps so, uh, step by step. But I mean, here again, it's just simple things like extruding, uh, simple things like uh, using the bridge tool, um, doing small little rotates here and there to make sure that the crates aren't, uh, they're, it's not completely flat. Uh, right now, because this is sped up so quickly, you can't see me actually looking at different angles and seeing the little small um, tweaks that I do, little ro the rotates and stuff. 
here I'm, I'm just adding in just a little small kind of uh, edge loop and I'm taking the top edge and I'm just kind of slightly putting an offset to it and you'll see why I do that. Um, just, just creating that little offset, it's going to really help uh, call a few things out. So here I'm going in and I'm tweaking those angles like I was saying. Um, and then here I'm just going to duplicate it a few times. Uh, so for me, I, I really like the effect that the other side had when I um, extruded it. And um, so I just wanted to kind of continue that trend here. And because this might be used to, to put like a little tree or something on as well, because sometimes you'll see that, right? Um, uh, you want to make sure that it's covered up so that there's no holes inside the model. And so... That's what I'll do here. So at first, I didn't really like how that resulted too, so I just went back to the extrude tool. So going back in here, and I'm just going to extrude everything again, or extrude everything down. So that's nice and flat. And then now, I believe, at this point, is when I duplicate it. And uh, there you go. And then now I pretty much have my... My circular um, crate. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to to message me or write in the comment section. I'm really sorry, guys, that I, I had to do it like this or this style. I think in the future I might just cut off my webcam and just do it like this in case I need to speed up the videos. So, thank you guys so much for all the support, and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys again next time.